Hey everyone, welcome to yet another video. Text Connect brings to you textile stock analysis in collaboration with Youth Vesting. A new video where we'll be discussing and analyzing something about the stock market within the textile industry. In this video, we bring to you the fundamental and the technical analysis of Philatex. Hello everyone. This is Rigved here to discuss the fundamental analysis of the textile giant Philatex. With more than 30 years of expertise, Philatex is one of the country's leading manufacturers of polyester filament yarn. It has its presence in more than 42 countries like USA, Argentina, and Egypt. Philatex offers a wide range of products, which includes PET chips, partially oriented yarn, fully drawn yarn, drawn textured yarn, air textured yarn, polypropylene yarn, and narrow woven fabrics. From the company's financial performance, we can see that the company's revenue has dropped from 2,700 crores in FY20 to 2,200 crores in FY21. We can also see that the profit before tax has increased from 121 crores in FY20 to 239 crores in FY21. The current share price of Philatex is around 115 rupees on the National Stock Exchange and the Bombay Stock Exchange. One fun fact about Philatex is that in the last 18 months, its share price has appreciated more than 500%. The market capital is around 2,600 crores, while the sector price to earnings is around 15. For more such stuff, follow Youth Westing. The link is given in the description below. As we can see that the promoter holds around 65% of the company, whereas the foreign institutional investors hold no stake in the company. The domestic institutional investors hold around 30% of the company, while the public holds around 5% of the company. Hello friends, this is Samip Sherkar from Youth Vesting and today we will be doing the technical analysis of stock Philatex India. Here we have the candlestick chart of Philatex India in a monthly time frame. So this is a very recently listed stock. It was listed in August 2012, which is about a decade ago. So here, as you can see, after listing, it was a range bound stock, but the range was broken in this candle in April, 2016. And after that it accumulated for a bit. So this accumulation before a good bull run suggests that this is a very good demand zone to buy in. Now let's go in a few recent times that is May, March, 2020 COVID-19 crash. The stock fell by almost 60%, but even then it didn't go below this demand zone. So this was a good demand zone to buy. And after that, as you can see, it rallied for a very, very long time, which is almost about 745 percentage. Now these long wicks here suggest that there are sellers sitting here, which suggests that this is a bit of a supply zone, which means that the stock might consolidate here for a bit before going up again. Now let's go into the lower time frame to confirm this fact. So as we can see here, the stock has consolidated for a very long time, but again, it is trying to go above this price range, which suggests that there are buyers sitting here, which want to take the stock price above this. So this is a supply zone. So I guess we should wait a for a, a bit of a contraction or some confirmation here before going, uh, going long position in this price range. So I believe this is like a wait and watch stock for now, but it is a good investment. As you can see that it follows the perfect rules of technical analysis. It went into bull run after uh, contracting at the demand zone year and year. So that's it from my side. For more such content, follow Youth Vesting. Thank you. Here's a wrap. Do follow Youth Vesting on Instagram for learning about investments and for stock market updates. The link is in the description box below. And stay tuned for next week where we'll come up with new updates from the textile stock market.